So the question is, is what is a LAMP server? A LAMP server is a Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP server, and it's the standard server environment used by website administrators. So most people, when they think about going out and building a website, building a WordPress site, building a Drupal site, building some kind of web app, many times they will say that they're going to go and they're going to build a LAMP server. So Linux is for the operating system. So whenever you're going to be building a LAMP server, uh, you can use any Linux operating system, any fork or distribution. So whether it's Ubuntu uh, or Mandrake, any version of Linux you want to use, that's, that's the operating system. Then for the web server itself, what actually presents the websites to clients coming to your server, you would use Apache. Then for the database, so again, if you're going to be using WordPress, Drupal, if you're going to have any database functionality, you would have MySQL for the M. And then finally, you have P for PHP. And this is the programming language used in order to create the dynamic websites. So being able to push data to a database or pull data from a database. So if you have a form and you submit information from the form into a database, you're going to need PHP to take that form information and put it in the database. Likewise, if you want to run a report or you want to be able to pull information from a database, you would need PHP as the programming language in order to pull that information out of the database. So all we're talking about when we're talking about a LAMP server is basically the standard web server that most people build if they're going to be deploying websites. Now it is important to understand that each one of these components offers a different type of functionality and if you don't need that functionality you should not install that into the server. So whenever you build a LAMP server you normally, unless you find a specific distribution of it, you don't just install a LAMP server. It's not, it's not, it's not like you're, you're installing Ubuntu. You don't just install LAMP. What you do is you install Linux and then you install Apache, then you install uh, MySQL, then you install PHP, then you install a couple of other things to make it all work together. So one of the important things to be thinking about is if all you need to do is present websites to your clients. So you have st static websites. So HTML, CSS, maybe JavaScript. If that's all you're doing, then you can simply have a Linux Apache web server. There's no reason to add the MySQL or the PHP. Those would be additional vulnerabilities, possibly additional problems that you could run into. So if all you're doing is presenting a static website, you can just do Linux and Apache. Apache. You don't have to do the full-fledged uh, web server. Additionally, if you want to have some dynamic aspects to your website, but you don't need the database in there. So let's say you want to be able to write to files or folders, or you want to be able to do something like send emails, uh, but there's no database functionality. You could do a Linux Apache PHP server and leave the MySQL out of there. So it's very important to understand that most people, when they say a LAMP server, they don't necessarily always mean a full-fledged LAMP server. They just maybe may say, like, I'm, I'm going to deploy a web server, and they may install Linux and Apache, or Linux, Apache, and PHP, or maybe all of them, or they may also install additional things on top of that basic stack. Many times when people are talking about LAMP servers, basically all they're actually talking about is a web server. So just do realize that these these are all individual components that you would have to install individually. So if you don't need to install them, then then you just probably shouldn't install them. Um, and so that's all a LAMP server is, and that's why it matters.